Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, another sort of video this time, and I'm gonna share some thoughts of how to improve uh, your Sony X3000 action cam for vlogging. And uh, I have tried over years many different kind of cameras, and uh, I mean I have tried a lot, and. Uh, you kind of always looking for the ultimate setup for filming and photo and all the time and, and also I enjoy trying new and other equipment out. Uh, this camera here is not particularly a new one but it's uh, I would say it's still relevant in 2021 and uh, as I mentioned I have tried a a lot of different cameras but when I start to do more vlogging style of uh, videos I notice that my vlogs I kind of want to move around and walk around and, and film like different cars and stuff when I'm walking and it's not that so much uh, trying to make like feature film and stuff like this it's more like just uh, walking around filming, filming myself and talk and have some uh, kind of interviews with uh, an interaction with different people so I, I uh, had had like different Sony cameras for a long time also GoPro cameras but uh, I'm not sure uh, why I ended up with uh, X3000 I think it was because it has in-body stabilization so to say it's called I think boss system and um, it's actually not until this year I start to do like vlogging with this camera even if I had it for several years uh, and I also had like other Sony cameras that I use with gimbals but I managed, I noticed that I, I actually never used it with the gimbal because it was just a lot of hassle to take everything out and, and just connect the gimbal and everything and and also I wanted to be able to have better audio quality and even if uh, Sony is decent audio quality direct from the camera I think it's it has some lacks especially if it's a windy environment and stuff like this so anyway uh, I'm sure this is not the first uh, tips and tricks for this kind of camera you can find on the internet but uh, I'm gonna share some of my I'm gonna share some of my thoughts anyway, and uh, as many people who had make this kind of uh, vlogging setups, they have mentioned that uh, even if the audio is good, audio, 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 how you say in English, I don't know, uh, it's good. You can it it's got, it tend to pick up a lot of wind noise, and uh, you can have a lot of different options to to kind of block the wind. And one of the big benefits, of course, is that you have uh, external mic input that you can put and you can put like a dead cat or something around the microphone or some people have like um, uh, paper or, or uh, foam or something behind uh, in front of the microphone that they put a rubber band around or whatever. But I, I my solution to this is actually that I, I, I bought uh, tape, uh, dual-sided tape, and um, I bought some uh, clothes that look like um, a fur of some kind. And this uh, I cut, and I make it like a um, small one, and as, as you see I have uh, screen protection, so you have to take it off. And then you put um, uh, dual-sided tape around here, on the side here and here not in front and then you put the, like uh, the fur around the, the mic so it kind of looks like this and this will actually improve to block out the, the wind noise a lot better than without of course but it's not it's not uh, I mean, it, it can it can do to a certain amount of wind noise, but it's not uh, like super good, but it's still better than nothing. And 
also what I've done with this one, I took a regular cold shoe, and this one is actually from Smallery, but you can use other brand like Camvator or what, what you have or what you find cheap if you buy on the internet. And um, I put this under, so if I want to mount uh, of, uh, like a LED light, I can do. And I can have it when I'm blogging or if it's dark environment and I want to film something in more dark environment and I can I, I can use like this. Uh, so this is also connected with um, dual sided tape. And uh, I like actually these settings because if you use the finger grip, I think it's called, that came with the Sony, with the Sony camera in some cases anyway. Uh, this is very small and uh, portable uh, configuration. And uh, the reason, as you can figure out, I had, that I have connected this one here is because I can be able to use this grip and still have a uh, like secure strap around the protection glass. If you have it connected to the camera, it, it can be a little bit tricky to get it on. So that's why I, I put like um, a plate uh, that came in like some kind of other Sony package, I think. So this one, this setup I actually like because you can have it in your pocket and you can just bring it along with you without taking any notable space. So I can I kind of recommend these settings. Uh, I have been using this for some vlogs and it's 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 working good and, and the sound quality is good and that time I was using it uh, for vlog and it wasn't that much of a noise but it was outside and it was a little bit of wind so it's not like uh, indoor environment and uh, you couldn't really hear anything of the wind noise because of this uh, this uh, dead cat, so to say. Anyway, if you want to upgrade this, and uh, like the disadvantage with this one is that you can't use uh, external microphone at the same time because the mic input is in this side here. So even if I like this one, and if I would be able to have a like an external microphone under here in the in the cold shoe, I can't really connect it because the grip is in the way. And uh, I was thinking of or maybe I can drill a hole in the grip so I can put uh, put the um, uh, audio cable uh, into the camera through the grip, but then you kind of lose all the function with this one. So um, because they have the lock. Uh, mechanism here, so uh, I, I figure out I cannot do like that, and uh, so I had to try other different solutions. And um, what I did was I actually went to internet, Amazon, and uh, I bought uh, a camvite grip. This is actually to put uh, like on um, a table or whatever. You can screw it. And then, then you can you have like different connection points here that you can put. And in this case, I, I just rip this off. And uh, this screw mount here is not the same size as a regular one quarter inch screw mount from from the camera, so it doesn't fit. But anyway, I, I took it apart anyway. And uh, I connected some uh, cold shoes to this one also. Uh, in this case, it was from the same brand, Can White, I think you say. Uh, and what you can see here is a little bit rubber, rubber grip here from the from the factory. So I actually put the dual-sided tape under one of the cold shoes. One, one reason is this, to, to stick the culture in place, it cannot really move, and the other one is to build up a little bit more space so it 
level up to uh, like the rubber things that come with the f- f- come from the factory. And the other side I have over here. I will show you why I've done like this. And this one here, uh, I, I wasn't really sure it's gonna fit or not into the camera, but it actually fitted perfect like this. And when I say fit it perfect, I mean, you can see it's I have a little bit of leverage, so it's not like a perfect snug fit. But if you're gonna connect this to to this one, you need to screw it together in some way. So I have another bracket like this uh, that you can buy, and you can buy I think a package of two or three or five, whatever, and uh, then you can do like this, you unscrew this, and as you can imagine, this one doesn't really fit, it's fit inside, but it's not the same size, so that's why you have the plate, one of the plate only, you don't need two now, only one, so you connect this, like this, a little bit, and then you put it inside here. And it's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. And then you have to try to find where it's going inside the hole. And you can tighten it up if you want, but I think it's 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 uh, it's not going to come loose, and it's even if it have a little bit of play, it's it, it's okay. Okay, so now it looks like this. And uh, what you can do now, you can also have this on the other side if you prefer that. But what I did here, because you can hold it like this, but I think it's. Uh, not the best grip, but but okay, you can you can hold it. But I actually had another grip, a can white grip, and this is supposed to actually go from I had, I had uh, like a rig from another camera, so I took uh, this this one here, and this is supposed to go like this. But I, this is for left hand, um, but I actually took it and put it on the opposite direction, and in my case. Or in my view, point of view now, I think this is actually a better fit because if you have it opposite direction, the grip will pull down a little bit. And now it's like the same. It's like the same. Um, almost the same leverage. It's the same. It's it's not gonna be like too wide or something like this. And if if you want, of course, you can put another colcho here. If, if you want to have more equipment or kitted out and you can put um, dual sided tape or drill a hole and screw it together but this one here it's it's uh, a fairly good fairly good um, grip for walking around and and shoot yourself and the benefit now with this one is that you can have if you have uh, a microphone You can just plug it in and then put it, uh, put the cable inside also. Um, this microphone here is um, Boya, by uh, Y M M One, I think you say, and it's work good in uh, environment that you don't walking around with the camera so much because it's had a lot of like noise. Or signals that you don't want to have. So, and compared to the road mic that I think it's actually a copy from, this tend to bring in a little bit more of noise or decibel than the road mic. And uh, many people say that the Sony camera 
tend to peak with uh, this combination and I think they might be right here. So I was lucky that I have another Rogue Mic Stereo that I, I use. So I put like this. And as you can see now, I, I have, in my case, I think I want to slide the mic from the front to back. Uh, and I will show you one uh, reason why I do like this. This. And this cable here, you can just, uh, if you want to have a little bit more uh, nice, you can put it through the hole here and then put it here. Right, like this. And I'm not gonna make or review, review anything about this stereo mic, but you can you can change the decibel from minus 10 to zero and to plus 20. And you have like low cut filter and stuff like this, so it's a good one. But with this one here, uh, as you can see, if you can show it like this, this is how it looks now. And uh, the Sony camera, you have like external screen on this one and you need to connect it some way. And from the beginning I actually used a socket like this and then I, I put it to uh, let's see, like this, no, like this. And I put it to uh, the screen socket like this and then you can slide it here. And and that's the reason why why you want to put the camera in from the front because if you want to change something here you don't need to take this out you, you can just slide it out like this and change if you want to have another camera or you want to have a light or whatever then you don't need to take this one off you can see here just start everything and it connecting Yeah, like this. So, this is... Uh, my setup as for now, but... Uh, one of the big um, benefits with this is that you have everything in like one package, but as soon as you start the kit up uh, like a small action camera with a ring or everything, it's kind of get big and you kind of lose the, how to say, uh, the small, small fit size of an action camera. It, this, this actually has a bit of a clunky size now. It's not like portable as before, but it's, it's not uh, impossible to walk around with. And also if you want to uh, frame yourself during shot, you can just take the screen off and you can hold like this and you can frame yourself when you make a vlog if you want to if you want to talk uh, in into the camera but with the action cameras i'm pretty sure it's not only with the sona sony you don't really need uh, a screen to frame yourself because as soon as you can kind of look into the camera uh, point directly, it's, it's pretty wide, you know it's, um, you shoot yourself in the frame. But another way, if you want to do like this, but without having to take, um, take the screen off all the time, you can actually have another kind of solution, and I will show you that I think I will actually use from now on. Uh, this, if you have a gorilla arm like this, and you put that one into the rig like this, and then uh, of course. You 
just put it like this. And this is actually maybe even more. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's actually better because you can change if you want to uh, change the, the, the screen in some way for some reason. Maybe you shoot in low or shoot in high and you want to look like this or this and you want to go up like this and uh, yeah you, you can you can see you can you can sh change the where you point the, put the screen and also one of the big benefits with this one if you want to do like selfie or, or frame yourself in the camera when you doing a vlogging you just fold it like this and then you can see yourself while recording and you see if you are in frame or not but as, as I mentioned I, I don't really see the real need for this with an action camera since it's so wide but sometimes it's, it's nice to be able to see if you actually are in frame or not or if you maybe a two person that you're gonna talk with you can see that both are in frame or not and another big benefit with this gorilla arm here I think it's called is that you can if you're walking around and or you want to have like a more stable grip you can actually have this here like a grip and this was not this will not interfere with the audio because uh, it's different connection points in this one so okay this is my vlogging kit and this is the first time I make a video like this I think it's more or less a try it for myself so if you have any question or any request uh, I will try to answer the question as soon as possible I'm not sure if anyone actually gonna look at this one since the X3000 is a pretty old camera but I, I would say it's still relevant for today it's still valid for me especially because uh, I, I, I don't you can shoot in 4k with this one but I actually recording everything in one in full HD since I kind of save all my footage and I don't want to take up too much space with all recordings and I have to say one thing with with the one more thing with the X3000 is that I'm really impressed impressed about the stabilization this one especially if you have like <coughs> the boss mode on and and, um, and um, the active mode on so to say it, like I think it's a combination of optical and uh, electronic stabilization and uh, it's not like a, a super smooth gimbal but it's smooth enough and for me I, I kind of want to see that if I'm walking I want to see that I'm walking I want to have like super smooth I want to like feel like it's I my me personally I feel like it's I'm 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 there in the in the shot instead of if it's super smooth so that's why I actually prefer this than compared to the gimbal I had before I like still have but I, I never use and uh, this I can put in a small small bag and uh, just take up and make quick shoots with so.